All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find your slime's favorite food. Not only where how you can figure out which kind of food it is, but also where you can find it on the map. So uh, yeah, before we get started, like is always appreciated, and let's get right into the video. So first things first, you can access the Slimepedia by pressing F1 on, on um, keyboard and mouse, or you can just hit the option or the escape, which whatever button this is on console that brings this up, I'm not sure, but go to Slimepedia and then click on the slime up here. This will show you all the slimes that you have found and their favorite food. Now, one thing that I don't like is that they don't tell you the name of the food right here, but they do give you a little icon. And this is how you can figure out what kind of food your slime likes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find water lettuce, which is what this is. Um, uh, heartbeats, pomegranites, um, as long, along with, you know, where are they at? Uh, mint mangoes and odd onions. I'm going to show you how to find all those foods in this video. So first, let's start off with, well, let's start off with, let's start off with water lettuce. I'll show you how to find water lettuce. So water lettuce can be found in the starting island on the game, Rainbow Island. And it's kind of hard to find. It took me a long time to figure out where it's at, but they kind of hide it on you. If, I, if I'm correct, I believe I found mine. So right up here. No, I'm not there. It was right around here. It was kind of hidden in the corner over here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's in. You just come down here through that archway and over right here. And here is some right here. It was kind of hard to find. It kind of really blends in and I, and I didn't think to really look here. But yeah, this is water lettuce. And these are cotton slime's favorite foods. So when you feed a cotton slime its favorite food, or you feed any slime its favorite food, for some reason it's not eating, uh, it will give you two times the ports. So that is water lettuce. Now let's take a look at heartbeats and see where you can find those. You can find heartbeats in this area of the map over here, and they are kind of hard to find. It took me quite a while to find them. I actually found my first one by, by uh, breaking open a crate, but you can find them just naturally growing places. So let's uh, I'll show you how you can find those. Okay, just head down here. Now, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot where I found mine at. It wasn't just out in the open here. Um... I think it was up around here. Hmm. Right through here, and I think there's some... Yep, right here. Cool. And I'll be darn, there is an odd onion too, so we'll do both of these. Here is some heartbeats. And odd onions can be found growing with any of the plants inside this biome right here. So if you find some heartbeats, it could be growing with them. But you can also find them growing with uh, carrots. Let's see if we can find some. Uh, yeah, see odd onion growing right there. So just keep an eye out, look through all of these, and maybe you'll spot an odd onion. They are kind of hard to find, but yeah, that's two foods down. At the same time, two birds with one stone. All right, next up, let's find some pomegranite, which can also be found in this area of the map. But it is a bit further away and a bit harder to find, so let me show you. Just follow the path that I take. All right, you want to come through this archway right here. And then go up. Instead of going our right down the danger sign path, we're going to go up this tunnel right here. All right, once you're in this cave, you're going to want to go up around here. Go through this cave. And I think you can make this jump without having the jetpack, but just jump across here. Oh yeah, you can jump from there to here, I think. Much over here. And jump over here. Follow this path up. And then right here. This is some pomegranite. So yeah, that's pomegranite. And now, last but not least, let's go find some... Uh, what's it called? Uh, mint mangoes. These can be found in this area of the map over here and they're pretty hard to find so I'm, I'm gonna show you 
And if you don't know how to get to this area of the map, I have a video on it along with getting to this area of the map too. I have a video on that as well. So yeah, let me get to Starlight Strand, which is what this is called. And I'll show you how to find them. All right, so we're in Starlight Strand. And as you can see, there's this little teleporter right there. So that's where you'll come out. And then we're just going to follow this road all the way up here until we find some mint mangoes. And they are quite far away and they're pretty hard to find. So, <laughs> and I do, I did just have to go try and find them on my own because I kind of forgot where they were at, but I did find them. So we'll use our jetpack to get up here. I don't know how you get up here without using a jetpack. So if you don't have it, then go watch my video on how to get it. And now we'll climb up here. All right, run up here. Run up here. All right, here we are. Here's the uh, butterfly largo up there. Now we're just going to run up through here. Up this ramp and then up this ramp. Right now we just cross this bridge and there might be an easier way to get to where I'm going but I'm, I mean this is how I found them ah there it is there's the tree okay now we're just gonna use our jetpack fly up here and here is your mint mangoes there we go now, if you want to get back, I believe you can just follow this road over here. Yeah, you can go down there, I believe, and then it'll take you home. Or you can just take the path uh, that you took before. But yeah, that is how you get all the uh, favorite foods for all the slimes. Other than the meat eaters and the cube berries. I didn't cover cube berries because they are just super easy to find. Just They're like pogo fruit, just hanging on trees on the side of rocks. Just go look for them. They're pretty easy to find. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then hey, go down below and give it a like and then get subscribed for more um, Slime Rancher 2 tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.